So on this case, you guys have FD, um, FEDC as a trapezoid, where V and Y are midpoints. So if we know it's a trapezoid, what do we talk about? What does a trapezoid have? Aiden, what is one thing you know about trapezoid? They have two parallel sides. Yes, Aiden, you have a really high voice. Yes, very good. They have a set of parallel sides, right? Now, the next thing is they talked about this midpoint, that V and Y are midpoints. Now, if you guys remember the midpoint created, if you have your two midpoints and you connect them, those, what they did, um, Keith, those created what we call a mid segment. And that mid segment is also parallel to, these are what we call our two bases. Okay, and this is pretty much what you missed last year, our two bases. Now, what was really important about this was there is a formula for all this, right? If I call this base one and this base two, and this is the mid segment. Do you guys remember there's a formula for how these lengths were connected, right? Yes. Well, you're going to have one for that was that particular problem, right? Yeah, but it's all right. So I'm just going to use it. So what we had was, what we talked about was our mid segment, which I'll call m in this case, is equal to 1 half base 1 plus base 2. Well, I, I don't want to use m's and b and h's. What, what is it, how does it relate to this problem? Vy is congruent to 1 half Fe plus Cd, right? Where M represents mid-segment, B represents base 1, base 2. But I'm actually labeling them how they are in this problem. Now it's important, this is number 6. Now it's important about this one is we actually know some of these lengths. So you guys can see, oh, we don't. I, we do know, but I just didn't write them down. Um, for 6, no, I'm sorry, this is 5. It says Fe equals 18 and Vy equals 28. All right. So now, guys, I can plug in this information, right? Can't you plug in this information? So if Vy is 28 equals 1 half, Fe is 18 plus Cd. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to solve. So how are you going to solve this stuff? Well, we got to get the opposites. Um, I'm sorry, we got to get rid of this one half. So to do that, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. Okay, when multiplying by the reciprocal, what happens is any number multiplied by a circle. Think of this: three fourths times four over three is three fourths. Yeah, it's just one. Two over one times two times one half is. 1. And then 2 over 1 times 28, you can put that over 1 if you want to, but 2 over 1 is just 2. 2 times 28 is 56 equals 18 plus CD. I don't need to write, re keep the parentheses because we're just using the addition, right? So now I subtract 18. And therefore, I can see now my final answer is CD is equal to 36. Okay?